Friday night, duels in the ACC are so back. Great to have you with us on your Friday night. Evan News, Daryl Weber, our outstanding ACC network crew behind the scenes. We're through five matches. 12th ranked Virginia Tech leading North Carolina 15-3. Daryl, what have your biggest impressions been? I mean, I've seen we've seen a lot of action out here. I mean, for both sides, some exciting matches, guys trying to score points. Um, and we talked about it with Latona there. He, he, he was in a battle and then just got on a roll, started figuring things out and started throwing points up. Well, we highlighted it at the beginning of our broadcast. The match to watch tonight, fifth-ranked Lachlan McNeil. He has been dominant this year, taking on 14th-ranked Tom Crook, who has won 10 of his last 12 matches. Yeah, two ranked wrestlers. Uh, I'm expecting some more fireworks here out of these two. The sophomore from Tampa, Florida. In the series history between these two, McNeil 3-0 against Crook. Two major decisions. But a chance, a new year, a new season. These are two those wrestlers hands, that have aspirations to be all Americans. Clean the hands up. And make a run at the NCAA championship. Yeah, McNeil's already been on the podium, correct? Guys, break the hands. Nothing there. Mentioned Crook for Virginia Tech. Well, 10 of his last 12 had a 14-4 major decision two weeks ago against App State. And some of his losses this year, I mean, Vince Cornell of Cornell ranked 13th. 10th ranked Titus Jordan of West Virginia. Coach Tony up. Roby said he's a great worker. He's peaking at the right time right now, but he's going to need to wrestle really well. Well, that's what you want to hear. You know, this wrestle season is a long season. Uh, these guys train hard. you got to watch your weight uh, most of the year. Okay. Um, hey, so you hey. want these guys excited and getting better and, and ex being excited about the end of the year, not not dreading the end of the year or wanting the season over with. That's the last thing you want. So it's good to hear that um, he's seeing Crook peaking and, and coming into his own, heading into the ACC's and the NCAA's. And meanwhile, McNeil's lone losses to number one Real Woods of Iowa. Guys, get out of there. Ranked Ryan Jack of North Carolina State. So he's wrestled some of the best. Get out of there. And Coach Cole telling us he's a student of the game. You can't ride him. He's fantastic on his feet. Get out of that grip, guys. Both Get guys out, out there. there working the head pretty we'll good. One guy. Next time stalling, let's go. Work. Which is a good strategy. If you're not, if you get a tough opponent, sometimes you can't score. Ooh, that's a great counter to that shot. Three. McNeil, Crook run. taking the shot Three attempt. Run. McNeil redirects him, gets a quick takeoff, throws those legs in right away in the top position, too. A terrific start for Lachlan McNeil, the redshirt sophomore from Toronto. Going for that far side cradle, it looks like. Crook's doing a good job of controlling the hand, though, so he can't get locked up. Red, He's going to have to do control, something Red. now that their feet to get him back down to the mat. And he shrugs him off, One has green. the escape. Neutral. And a shot at it by Crook. That's, that was a big escape from Crook. You can tell that McNeil's very hands comfortable guys, with that hands. leg, and he's a tough rider. Gentlemen, get out of the fingers. And both sophomores. So this is the fourth time they've met, and they line up to meet a lot more. Yeah, it sounds that, sounds that way. Hands. Get out of that grip. Get out of the grip. Hands, guys. Break it. And that'll do it for the opening period. McNeil leading 3-1, mentioned the outstanding season that he's had. You look at some of the... A lot of points he's throwing on the board there. No doubts. And to beat CJ Composto of Penn, 15-3 major decision. And he's got a lot of exciting things coming up, Daryl. He's going to travel to the 2024 Pan America Games qualifier in Mexico on February 29th for the right to make the Olympics and represent his home country of Canada.
Green, you're in control. Both men are active. Ooh, nice lift and return there because Red, you're neutral. Comes right back up. Coach Cole, Coach Cole said he couldn't be ridden, and he, he proved it right there. He, that was a nice hands, lift and return hands, that Crook hands. had, but he bounced right back up, and that's what you want to do. The guy picks you up and puts you down, you want to pounce right back up and get to your feet. Crook with a nice shot attempt there. Now McNeil with the underhook trying to throw it by. Hands, hands. Minute 15 in the second period. And two wrestlers coming in with momentum. A lot of action, a lot of hand fight going on here. Guys trying to control tie ups, looking for angles. Saw McNeil look at our. Neil. Official about something. Yeah, I, I think he thought that he that uh, Crook grabbed his headgear, pulled on his headgear. It's head probably accidental. Yeah, Sometimes you work in that head, your finger might get caught. Thirty seconds left in the second period. More hand fighting as Crook tried to swipe after that right leg. Yeah, Crook's. Making some good shot attempts, but McDeal just has great hands, position. Guys. Keeps that head position. It's hard to get past his head and hand defense. That's what allows him to have those counterattacks, too. McNeil 9-0 and in duels. And he's going to go into this third Offense. period with a three-point lead, a chance to make that 10-0 and on the season. Green bottom. McNeil will start on top. Right to his feet. McNeil brings him back down. See if he tries to slide that leg in again. Does a little chop. Looks like he's trying to slide it in. Does. Gets the leg in. I'll see what he tries to work One. with that. He's going to have to bring it back down or let, let that leg out. Red, you're in control. Him. Wow. And McNeil hangs on to that right leg, swipes the ankle, and they're off the mat. Some good wrestling there. Crook's doing a good job. I mean, McNeil's tough on top. Crook's doing a good job getting his feet, almost getting out. But man, it's hard to get away from McNeil. Find a way to escape. It's anybody's match. Slides that leg in again. McNeil's very comfortable with that. But Crook's doing a good job of coming up to his feet. Red, you got that it. forces him. Red. He has to do something with that. Otherwise, he's going to get a stall call. There's the escape. Riding time will stop at a minute and three seconds. Two point match. Yeah, those hands. Minute three riding time. You can feel the anticipation building here oh. inside of Castle. And there is Crook, Crook with some offense. Ooh. Oh, switch it off to a double. That was some good chain wrestling right there. McNeil's Crook locked in the cross zone. Down. Nothing yet. Does Look Crook there. have it? He's still got that cross zone. And there it is. Crook with a massive takedown to go in front five to four. And the riding time goes under 60 seconds. Lost the riding time now. One point lead. He's got to put a tough ride on him here. McNeil's back to his feet, working that claw. Neil to his feet. Crook's got a look, looks for a trip back. Huge return wow. to the match. Wow, changed direction on him. Almost put him on his back to the claw. The tech bench, all sorts of fired up. The challenge brick has been thrown from Rob Cole. Five seconds to work with. Can Crook Tries hang roll, on? Keeps it back. Some good riding there at the end of that match. Wow. Tom Crook with one of the biggest wins of his career. He takes down fifth rank Lachlan McNeil. Five to four thanks to a late takedown. Now there is a challenge. Okay. I think he took it back. I think it was a, oh, I think he's questioning if there was a locked hands. 
Crook will wait on the mat, as will McNeil. What a moment for Tom Crook. 0-3 previously against McNeil. Outscored a combined 22 to five in those three matches. And what a finish to that match. Yeah, I believe Coach Cole is saying that there's a locked hands call that should have been happened, that would, which, which would give McNeil a point, tie it up. Coach Cole going over to the scores table. I think everyone wants to make sure everyone's on the same page of what exactly is yeah. being looked at here. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what's going on, but from uh, Coach Cole's body language, it looked like that's what he was looking for. Quick behind him here. He's does this little trip back. He's trying to make him think he's going to lift and return, but then trips him back. No, he releases his hands right there. I, I don't know if there's a different spot. And he drops into a double leg position to finish. And regardless of what happens, you see Coach Cole. I mean, that's about as good as wrestling as you can do. That, that was high oh, quality that was a, start to finish. Yes, phenomenal, phenomenal finish. But yeah, there was some great action throughout the entire match, but what a finish. Because like Coach Cole said, uh, McNeil is very tough to ride. And that takedown, I think there was 45 seconds left when he got that takedown. He had to keep it down for 45 seconds. Here's the call. If they reverse and they change the call. The Virginia Tech bench looks pretty happy. I don't think there's a lot of hands call. It's unsuccessful. Uh, Tom Cook, the sophomore from Tampa. One of the biggest wins of his career. Huge win for him. And that was and that was after several shots where he got he got counterattacked. So he's in here real nice. And he does a good job of cutting cut him off and locking up that double leg. We would have caught it earlier. Uh, McNeil was almost cut in the corner and he locked he he wrapped up that double leg to finish.